Hey, thank you for tuning in to TTV. I'm your host, Toya, and today is Herbal Tuesday. So before we get started, I just want to do a quick shout out for myself. Um, this is my book, Tease Collection. It's a collection of short stories, poems, and there's a couple of songs in there as well. Um, it is available on Amazon. The link is below, so please check that out and support your girl. Love you guys. Okay, so the herb I'm going over for you today is one that is really re prevalent in, I know, my community as far as, you know, African Americans, Blacks. Um, so I'm going to go over Hawthorne Berry. So Hawthorne Berry is, um, and I'll have a picture over here, but Hawthorne Berry is one that is excellent for your heart. It's like one of the best things that you can actually take for your heart. Um, and before I do, let me read my disclaimer because I don't want nobody coming after me because I'm giving y'all information saying, well, she said. Okay, so these statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. Um, the Hawthorne Berry that I am speaking on is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any diseases. Um, not intended for use by pregnant women or nursing. If you have a medical condition or are taking medica medication, consult your doctor prior to use. Discontinue use and consult your doctor if any adverse reactions occur. So, disclaimer is out the way. But yeah, Hawthorne Mary is a great, great thing that you can actually do for your heart, for heart disease, for heart related issues, because what it actually does is it goes in and it helps to correct and repair the heart and its vessels so when you take it you might feel some pinpricks around your heart and that's really just the hawthorne berry going in and correcting and you know the circulation and the vessels and things like that that are surrounding your heart now there is a syrup that people make out of a hawthorne berry syrup which is like a very powerful potent tonic that you can actually take to take care of your heart now, I haven't made it before. It's one of my things that's on my to-do list because it's like 15 hours to make some Hawthorne berry syrup. So it's not something you could just do and whip up real quick. No, this ain't like your blackberry, you know, syrup or jam or something. No, it's a process to it, okay? A long process. It's Like I said, it's a 15-hour process. Um, I do know some people use it and they um, make the Hawthorne berry syrup and they kind of cut down on the time that they have to be present by using a crock pot. Um, of course, when I do it, I'm going to do it the way I was taught to do it first, <laughs> and then I might go back and actually try it. And then when I do make it, I will put it on the website for people to um, purchase. So it is something that is a little more expensive because of the process that it goes through. So if you go out there and you check it out, um, just know that it's, it's not going to be like, you know, that $5 cough syrup you get at the store, okay? It's going to be a little more potent. And with anything, okay, with anything... Too much of anything is going to be bad for you. So please be careful when you are taking it because Hawthorne Berry Syrup it is very sweet and it tastes good. But you only need one teaspoon, okay? If you're taking the extract, you only need 10 to 40 drops three times a day if you have issues that need to be repaired, okay? If you don't, then you're only going to take that 40 drops once a day just as a maintenance, okay? Um, and that's if you're doing the extracts. If you're doing the actual um, supplement or appeal, something like that, then you want to follow instructions on the bottle. But it, like I said, it is one of those that actually goes in and helps to repair the damage that has been made to the heart. So it is an excellent one if you have heart-related issues, if you have issues relating to the heart that run in your family, like stroke, heart attacks, heart disease, um, clogged arteries, um, just whatever is related to the heart, <laughs> collapsed vessels, things like that. If that stuff runs in your family, then you might want to check out Hawthorne Berry. And like with anything, do your own due diligence. Don't just take everything from my, everything I say, you know, at face value. Go out and look into it your own self. Um, I will put a link below. Um, usually what I do is I go look it up on WebMD, um, which I didn't do this time beforehand. So let me look and see what they say real quick since this is a shorter video and I already have Google up. Um, usually what I do is I just type in the benefits of whatever it is I'm looking for. And like I said, I typically go to uh, WebMD because it's one that is trusted by everybody. Okay, so what they say is, get these advertisements out the way. Um, the Hawthorne 
leaves, berry, and flowers are used as medicine. They contain chemicals called flavonoids, which have antioxidant effect. Hawthorne berry, Hawthorne also seems to improve blood circulation and inflect blood flow from the heart. Um, people have used Hawthorne berry for chest pain, heart failure, blood circulation, heart high blood pressure, anxiety, and many other conditions, but there is no good scientific evidence to support it other than the fact, and this is my own little ad, other than the fact that it's been used for hundreds of thousands of years. <laughs> but I will put that information below. There was also one more health line I use sometimes too. And I see what they say. They say nine benefits to Hawthorne Berry. Um, okay. It says, sorry, this page. Okay, there we go. Um, it's loaded with antioxidants. And I'll put these two links below so you can have um, that information. New when antioxidants, when stuff is high with antioxidants, that means that it's a good um, immune system booster and will also help with uh, things like cancer, stuff like that. Um, it has anti inflammatory pro properties. It can lower your, it may, <laughs> may lower your blood pressure. Um, may reduce your uh, blood cholesterol levels, um, can be used as a digestion, a, a digest aid, digestion aid. <laughs> um, it says may have anti-aging properties, which that would actually make sense because if it increases your circulation and make the circulation of your blood and everything better, then your blood can actually get to the areas that it needs to get to, to carry nutrients, to remove um, toxins and things like that. So I can see that. Um, may reduce anxiety. Um, there was a study of 264 people who used Hawthorne berry, magnesium, and California poppy flower uh, had a significantly reduced anxiety levels compared with the placebo. So that's what they said on that. Um, can be used to treat heart failure and is easy to add to your diet. Um, and they suggest like raw berries, tea, jams, wine, mm -hmm. supplements. Yeah, so I'll have the link to those two below. But like I said, if you have heart issues, it's really good to take Hawthorne Berry. But again, you do want to be careful with it. Um, not take too much because anything, like I said, too much of anything is going to be bad for you. And if you feel a little prickly pin, it's, it says like pin pricks. That's actually the Hawthorne Berry going in and working on the heart vessels and your, you know, circulation and stuff. So don't be too alarmed. Now, if it continues for a long time, then yes, you may want to go seek some help. But like, okay, listen, I took this. Is this normal? Um, a lot of times you can do the televised, um, not to tell, what they call it? When you do the um, online talk to the doctor thing, telehealth. You can do the telehealth um, to talk to somebody if it continues for a long time or if you feel like you need to go to emergency, whatever. You you, you be the boss of you and your own health care. I'm just here providing information to help you, <laughs> to help guide you. But again, always do your own due diligence. Don't take people's, um, what they say, for, fa for the truth or for fact. Do your own research as well and look into it, okay? Because what I'm giving you is just an introduction to this information. Um, what you should be doing is taking that information, diving a little deeper to see how it applies to you and how it will affect you in your life, especially if you're on medications. If you're on medications and you're taking stuff up from over the counter, you do want to look into consulting your doctor or talking to the pharmacist or somebody else to see if there's any interaction. One thing that people take for granted is they think, oh, well, this is a food item, so I can take it and it doesn't matter. Well, some of those medications do interact with the foods that you take. You know, like gar garlic, for example, has a blood thinning property. So if you're on a blood thinner, you want to you want to pay attention to how much garlic you're having, okay? So you really need to pay attention or sp and speak to your doctor or your pharmacist if you are on medications or if you have some kind of condition. Because you may have some heart-related issues, but you may have something else that's going on that Hawthorne Berry may not be good for. So always, always do your own due diligence for your own health, okay? And look up the information. Like I said, I give you a starting point. I give you the basics information, but you really need to go beyond that and see how it would, how it would benefit you or if it would benefit you. So that's my message today for Hawthorne Berry. I hope you enjoyed it and got some information out of it. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. Because if you got something out of it, somebody else will as well. I love you guys, and I will talk to you tomorrow.